hello and welcome back to creative pet keeping today i wanted to update you on my balcony garden which is one of my joys other than fish keeping since i live in an apartment i don't have a backyard all i have is my little balcony and every year i go crazy and change it so much and do so many different things so if you want to look at my past balcony videos definitely check those out and also we have mookie right over here he is my male adopted cat he is almost 13 years old and he's just relaxing enjoying the balcony while i film over here so let's start with i guess this section right over here so this changes all the time i actually bring this in for the winter and i'll keep it in my house uh, sometimes i'll just keep it inside the house all year as an extra little bonus couch or i can also put a hammock out here and hang it on these rails so that is super super fun i have a little flower over here with a tiny little rock with tiny little turtles and then over here we have my storage where i keep all of my supplies and then here we have some uh, leaves that are drying out for my isopods we have an aloe plant and then over here we have asparagus that i've tried to grow for the first time ever it exploded this is technically supposed to be just all of it asparagus i think unless the birds brought in something else i can't really even tell uh, i had to cut it back a little bit because it just was it was just huge it was just it was an explosion there should be roughly about six asparagus plants in here now i'm realizing a bit way too overcrowded so we're gonna see if this works and then this looks like little peppers i really truly don't know what is happening over here and then over here is my little Christmas tree. Oh, and my little wind chime. Boop. Super nice. And then here I have a little secret thing. I have a little tiny plant. Little tiny, tiny secret plant. Let me, let me go on here, under here. Little tiny secret plant. With a little tiny secret sparrow. And by the way, this guy puts out little tiny white flowers on top of that. This is the cutest thing. Brings me joy. And then over here is my big experiment. Uh, I wanted to try planting some wildflowers from seeds and I just plopped them in here and yeah, they grow. They're cute, they're fun. I should have put them in a much deeper container. They need as much soil as I can give them, as much space as I can give them for their big root systems. So that's first mistake I made. Second mistake is I just planted too much <laughs> in one spot. I have to do better, but the hummingbirds really love it, so that's the cool thing. A lot of birds and bees and butterflies and other critters come and visit and utilize my balcony. In the previous year, I've had a morning dove nest here. I've also had sparrow nests, and the morning dove, there's a really cute video about that, so you can definitely check that out. And this year, we've had hummingbirds come, and the cool thing about the hummingbirds is they'll come to all these flowers, and I could just stand like right here, and then the hummingbird will be like right here, and it's gonna be like this close to me, and it's been like the coolest thing ever. I wasn't able to film the hummingbirds when they fly around here, just because they're so fast, and I just don't have the skills to <laughs> capture them on camera yet. I was able to catch them when they sit on the tree over here. So I do have some footage. Oh my gosh, that scared the bejesus out of me. I don't know if that was a cicada or if that was a hummingbird, but I just got dived by something. So over here are some of the plants that overwintered from last year. I forgot their name, but they're super fun. They're super easy and they came back. I still have other flowers here and then they just took over. And then over here we have some more flowers. The hummingbirds really love this one. And then this one has been really fun to watch, but it's not really flowering that much at the moment. Um, there's a couple flowers here. So as you can see, the flowers are super fun to look at. They're super cute and interesting when they do flower. But there's not too many. There's gonna be a lot more popping up because we got little babies. Then over here we have a Darla Rose. I don't remember the name of this, but I tend to like to get this every year because it tends to be fairly drought resistant. So I don't have to worry about watering my plants all the time. And then this, I don't remember the name. Oh, it's the Sunstar Pink Egyptian Flower. The hummingbird really loves this one. And then over here I have my lemon tree. And then here I have my hanging planter down here I planted way too much basil 
I got excited about planting things from seed this year and I just sort of overdid it. <laughs> so I don't need that much basil, but I, I, it's just living its life. So that's rosemary. I think that's thyme right here. And then I have my little deterrent to keep the birds from pecking at my food. Also here we have some hot peppers, which I tried growing for the first time. Super easy. I should have trimmed the plant early on. I should have actually trimmed both of these so they can grow more bushy versus weird and tall. But that is, you know, a learning thing that I'm figuring it out. <laughs> uh, down here was a bowl of different succulents and they all died. And then this one took over as the winner. And then I was like, well, okay, let's just keep you in here for now because you're just happy and you're thriving. Then over here we have the strawberry plants, but these strawberries aren't the best because they're more so like decorative strawberries. Then over here we have my early summer squash, which is ginormous. I've never planted something so big on my balcony, so this has been a huge learning experience. And one of the things I wish I could do is next year I want to use either a bigger container or a bigger pot. While as you can see this can grow out of a smaller pot like this, uh, and for size comparison, I guess this is my hand, so you can get an idea of how large this pot is. Because I know it's hard to tell things on camera sometimes. So I'm just I'm figuring it out. And I thought it was the cutest thing because I had my little little foot memorial that I put up right over here. It's just a little thing I got at Lowe's. And look, the little leaf came over her and it's doing a little protect. And I thought that that was so precious. Then over here we have my purple waffle plant which is from my gecko terrarium and it seems to really love being outside in the summer like this is where it really thrives i will kind of rotate it around so it gets more even sun but it's very happy here i have some catnip down here we have an ivy that i got from my parents right over here and then here i have my milkweed and then this year i ended up well the milkweed is in here hiding so it's, it's in here it's in here but I also planted this native flower with it, which at the beginning was quite small. And then it sort of just exploded. And here it is, like this huge thing, which I kind of love. I, I'm trying to support it a little bit with the hummingbird and the stick right here, because if it wouldn't, if it, it's windy, it just flops over and it covers my little solar light so that it can't charge. Hey, banana. And the banana came out to say hi. She loves to go on the balcony. Her favorite thing is watching people and sunning herself on the couch right here. Mookie likes to hang out right here. And then Littlefoot used to love to hang out right in this spot. So this is a great place for me to relax, do some gardening, which is a very calming thing for me. I also just think it's a great place that provides enrichment for my pets. They get to enjoy the sun in the morning when it's sunny over here. They get to enjoy the smells. And it's as safe as I can make it, I guess. I have a little barrier just to kind of make sure the kitties don't roll over. So that is my update on my little balcony. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any future videos. And be sure to check out my previous balcony videos as well because I have a couple from the previous years. And I think it would be kind of fun to check out how things have changed over the years. You can see if I improved or maybe I haven't improved. And also, all feedback is welcome. So if you think I should do something differently or change something, or if you have any suggestions and tips, definitely let me know because I'm still learning a lot. So I would really, really appreciate it. So thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.